Hi, it's Wes C again back with um, part 12 of my Crag Hack playthrough. I've drawn a Hakeem opponent this match, uh, which is a bit unusual. I'm not exactly sure um, what his deck's going to be comprised of, but one thing you can tell straight up is that. Um, Earth and um, Shadow, or whatever they're called, uh, don't have any area of effect um, spell, so stacking up the guys in the bottom row is safe. He probably will be playing um, a full complement of insect swarms, though, so that's uh, worth keeping in mind. Yeah, actually. In that case, the Earthquake um, doesn't actually play as well against Craghack as against a lot of other decks because Craghack plays uh, eight cheap flyers, uh, my version anyway, with the, the four vultures and the four serpent flyers, but I didn't get a chance to play them uh, this game, which is a bit unfortunate. He got to clear the board. So versus a deck like this, which hasn't got uh, any targeted removal, um, the Black Skull Goblin's actually quite, quite strong. Um, even if he does Insect Swarm here, he's going to survive along with the Elephant. Uh, the Gargoyles are very strong against a lot of Rush decks, but Crag Hack isn't really one of them because um, Hack runs literally zero magic creatures. So given the events that I've seen, it seems like uh, he's going to be playing some kind of uh, millstone type deck. Yeah, he's done. He's had a good start with multiple um, insect swarms and earthquake. One of the advantages of playing a slightly rogue deck like this one is that um, it's hard to know exactly what cards to expect, whereas most of the, the more mainstream decks, um, I know they make up down to almost the last card. So that was a strong, a strong counter. Taking out my assassin and giving himself a, a vulture rider. One thing I've done this game is uh, been able to not advance destiny at all because I haven't drawn any of the destiny cards. Um,
Once again, uh, Tainted Orc is a big problem for any deck that doesn't have targeted removal. Um, however, it's also an excellent uh, creature to copy or mirror. My choice to kill off his creature here might have been a mistake. It's quite possible that I was better simply to uh, get through for two more damage to him and uh, leave his guy at one, one health. So picking the second mercenaries here is very lucky, uh, given it lets me uh, push through all of his all of his blockers and get through for the full eight damage. That was a very a very fortunate event draw. So obviously the the vulture rider there um, combos very well when I'm milling off most of my library. So being on, on 19 life um, means that I'm unlikely to lose in a hurry from uh, drawing extra cards. But the problem is, once I have no cards to draw or threats to play, um, he will be able to kill me at his leisure. He still needs to get some mass removal fast in order not to die here though. So I think I've probably uh, made a mistake in this game, um, not advancing um, Destiny up to level 2 earlier, because I actually do have the win here if I could play my Stampede, unfortunately. Um, I don't have 2 Destiny, so I can't play it. Um, but I can still... Uh, get him down all the way to to three life and leave myself stampede in hand. Although at this point, if he could uh, draw and cast an extra cosmic realignment uh, and also clear the board, then I would I would lose here. So let's hope he doesn't. That let me discard my hand. So that's the fourth insect swarm, and he must be um, feeling somewhat confident now. Unfortunately, the bad news is that he didn't draw the cosmic uh, realignment, so. Got three damage in hand. 
see you for uh, the next episode soon.